Hey, so far I've taken out Anak. Spent some one-on-one -on -one time with her. I spent one-on-one -on -one time with Uso. And so now they're gonna go on a little quick walk. Hey, shh, 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 shh. Huh. Good. She's learning. She's learning not to be like that. You know, Uso is becoming more tolerant. But, you know, she's just got really high energy. And I just want to show you guys how, how it's handled here. I try to let Uso give her warning signs, and then I'll step in when she gets too much. But they're, they're learning how to play. And I'll step in if it gets too much, you'll see. But for the most part, I want to try to have them resolve it by themselves. Just in case we ever leave them together, I'll have a, I'll be more confident. I'll be more confident that, you know, they won't be getting into a major fight. Because these are two working bloodline dogs, all right? Things can get real serious. And if you don't, and so I'm just trying to implement good manners at an early age as much as possible so it'll be more of a success for them when they're both mature, when she's mature. All right, I'm gonna step in so that way I can show you guys how I handle it. Wait for a good moment. Hey, shh. Shh. Just like that. What I like to do is I like to grab her from the neck, pull her neck skin up like a, like a mama dog, pull it up. And I like to do it enough to where I hear a squeak from her. So that way I know it's being effective, right? Just pick her up, boom. She yelps a little bit and then just move her away and really stand my ground and let her know that's not appropriate you know because you just give a dog a little tap like that they're gonna keep coming back keep coming back so you really got to make your your presence known when you want something to stop it's got to stop and so that's how i do it and then as you can see once i interfered she got the message she's like okay i'm i'm a little bit too much so i'm just gonna go and do my own thing and you know, that's what you want to teach a dog. You want to teach a dog that there's other options for you to do other than the one that I don't want you to do. So in this case, I didn't want her to bug Uso the way she was. So I interfered. And when she saw that I didn't like that, she redirected herself to biting a stick, which is perfect. 